Hello everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Automation Engineer. We are still in chapter 3, continuing with the next topic 3.3.4, building reuse into the tests. Now that's again a subsection of 3.3 task development and we are trying to understand more into what exactly can be reusable clause. So in this particular tutorial, we are trying to understand building reuse into the task, which generally means that obviously reusability is one of the clause which is important to be understood in terms of having high benefits in terms of using automation. If you do not have a reusability feature with respect to TAS or TAA, that is your test automation architecture or the test script, anything, of course, that does not turn into a higher return of investment. So this, this task also comes equally just like an automation script or automation architecture with a reusability clause, which also requires some maintainability. But of course, to understand that how exactly it can be reusable, what are the different artifacts which can be reused as a part of TAS is more important to be understood at this point of time. So here we have requirements for reuse results from the relevance of TAS artifacts for the other product variants or product or project. The reusable TAS art artifacts may include the parts of test models and test goals, test scenarios, test components or test data, parts of test cases, test data, test procedure or test libraries themselves, the test engine or test report framework, the adapter to the SUT component or interfaces. Now if you see these four points here right in front of you have covered different aspects of TAS. That means one is from the resources, one is from the executions, one is from the reporting part, and the next is of course from the API. Similarly, while reuse aspects are already settled when the TA is defined, the task can help increase the ability for reuse. Now of course, during the TA itself, the task has been clearly identified. Now how it can really help you to increase the ability of being reused later are here. That is following the TAA or revising the updated it whenever needed. Documenting the TAS artifacts so that they are easily understood and can be incorporated into new context. Ensuring the correctness of the TAS artifacts so that usage in new context is supported by its high quality. So it's really very important to note that while designing or reusing is mainly a matter of TAA. So during the architecture design, it's really critical to define the clauses so that it can be reused later in the cycle. The maintenance and improvements for the reuse are also a concern throughout the task life cycle, as we understood in the previous tutorials. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else beyond this, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address the same. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.